Hi friends, it is Quilty Mom here. And today I've got a 15 week post-op uh, <laughs> update on my gastric bypass surgery. I haven't done one in a few weeks. Not a lot going on. I'm eating more food. I still get sick a lot. Um, I, I, I honestly feel like I'm never gonna feel better. Um, I get I get nauseous a lot. Um, I retch a lot, and I still have like no energy. Um, I, I'm kind of over that. But uh, and and the doctor I I saw last week, you know, is running a bunch of tests and did prescribe something to help with the nausea. Unfortunately, when I went to pick it up. It was not covered by insurance, even though it was something I had before that was covered just recently. That was frustrating, um, and the cost of it was it was pretty expensive. I'm also uh, need some vitamin D and potassium, and uh, I'm waiting until I get paid to pick up these items, just because um, I don't have the money to buy these at the moment. Um, but the exciting news, I am really, really close to my goal. My goal from the start, um, when I started this whole program on May 8th of last year, I weighed 249 pounds, 0.5. My goal was to weigh 150. So 100 pounds. I am at 96 pounds less. 96. I'm four pounds from goal. I I can't believe it. I'm pretty much freaking out. This is this is the exciting part of it. Um, and uh, I you know I'm at I I I I've lost you know so close to my goal that you know all the clothes I'm buying you know I'm feeling more comfortable buying you know, regular clothing and investing in clothing and stuff now because, you know, they're not temporary, which I, I hope I don't lose too much. I mean, I, I'm okay if I lose a little bit more than the hundred. I mean, it, it's bound to happen because of the surgery, but I'm not trying to. I'm quite pleased with my weight right now. Um, I mean, I'm not even anal about those last four pounds. Uh, when it happens, it happens, and, you know, but I do have some fat around the gut still, but I know that that's the last to go, and I also know that it is the most dangerous weight on your body, so I've got, I'll show you, I've got some chub around the stomach, I'm, I, uh, I know, I don't like to show off my own body, because I'm like, I'm still, like, weirded out about it, but, whoa. I'll show you. I've got chub around the stomach. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got chub around the stomach. Oh, well, it's it's fine. Um, I do want to give a shout out to my gorgeous friend, Melissa, today. Um, I'm Spangies, and I, I have really good friends. Um, I always brag about that, but I really do. Uh, this outfit, and... Is from Melissa. She sent them to me. She bought me clothes. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I thanked her, but you know, you just can't thank people enough when. Um, yeah, I got this one and another one. It's it's like pretty like midnight blue purple, and they're like and they're really comfortable. And they got those little arm things. Yay! <laughs> it doesn't take much to make me happy. Uh, <laughs> I like you give me some like little armholes. I and I think I've said this before in my videos. The worst part that I actually and and I I anticipated it some and I was not prepared for the extreme is how freaking cold I am. Oh my god, it's crazy how uncomfortable that is. I mean, I have been for God, since I've been a mom. You know, I haven't been this size since I've been a mom. Like, 
my lowest was like 170 something. But I've been really, really warm all the time, like roasting warm, always just hot and miserable. And, um, you know, people around me would be turning blue and I you would, you would just be dying and the sweat pouring off of me. Um, and, you know, moving back to Maine 20 years ago, uh, you know, it, it, it helped, uh, keep, you know, cool me down. Cause you know, when you had a cold blast, it's like, ah, oh, that feels good. But now, um, it physically hurts. Um, I, uh, I'm always freezing cold. So it is one side effect that I wasn't completely prepared for. And I do, so, you know, I tell you when I'm freezing, which is a lot. I w wish I could have some of that fat back on my body. <laughs> like, like, where is all that fat to keep me warm? And I know that, you know, my body has also been through a lot. And this is, you know, like a shock to the system. Uh, and my body is still adjusting. But I, and, and this is, like I said, this very, sorry, I got an itchy face. So um, that's why I'm touching my face so much today. My skin is really dry. It's, it's painfully dry. Um, I have had some skin problems, um, which has been unanticipated because I can't chug water like I used to. So I don't drink as much as before surgery. I try. I know I'm supposed to. And I it has always been a really, really good water drinker. So now I have to force it. Um, so it's made for painfully dry, itchy skin. Plus I'm using heat hotter than I, you know, than I've ever used before because I've, you know, I've got nothing to keep me warm. And, um, so it, it's made for a few skin problems and I've even had to give up, uh, all of my fancy box lotions and, Parlo creams and all that just because of the skin problems. And, um, yeah, I've got all these expensive products and nice products and scented products. And right now I've got to use like CeraVe and, you know, stuff that I get from Walmart, um, that my doctor recommended. I know. So I'm kind of, I keep looking at my, my fancy lotions and stuff and giving it the sad puppy face, like, like, oh, I miss you. Like, I, I want some warm vanilla sweater or whatever. You know, I I'm, I miss that, those nice lotions and stuff. Which, um, I, I put it on my legs. <laughs> like, because that's the only part, place I'm not having skin problems. Anything from the stomach up, I, it's, it's been painfully dry and itchy. Um. I keep meaning to put in a cool mist humidifier, and I can't find where the heck I put that sucker. Like, where did I put it? Um, so yeah, I've had I've anticipated a few things that I was not prepared for with surgery. I mean, there's been some like the the skin problems. I I didn't realize that I wouldn't be able to consume as much water as before because I've always been so good at drinking water, and I didn't realize like how hard it would be to actually get it down all the time. I'm still really nauseous at 15 weeks out. I'm kind of over that. Very low energy. Very, very low energy. Um, I'm very sick of that. Um, and I've had some BM problems uh, that have gotten so extreme that I ended up in the ER about two weeks ago. I won't go into details there, but... You know, when you go to the bathroom, you just assume you're never going to have any serious problems. And uh, it got really bad. Like, I didn't go for two weeks. Um, yeah, and, of course, being, you know, a single mom, you know, alone with Alex. Like, it, it, it it's hard to, you know, like, I, I had a doctor's appointment I had to cancel because there was no one for Alex. So, um, it, it's, 
it it's hard to you know take care of things like that and my son um and of course i ended up in pain at the er and um uh, spent the day there um that was annoying and um you know after they got me help they helped me out um you know, they basically told me that I could, from here on out, I should take Miralax every day or every other day as, as needed um, to keep me going, which that's another thing. It's like, oh, well, now I'm going to need help for a really long time just going to the bathroom. Um, but I don't want to get, you know, I had gotten to the point where, you know, there was nothing over the counter that was going to help, so... Had a, had you know go you know at that point I had to seek medical attention, so I don't want to get in that position again. And uh, went and loaded up on everything they said at uh, Walmart. So yeah, so I I've been trying to you know be better about um, preventative measures. If you know, if I don't go on my own, then here comes the Miralax. And in an extreme case, there is, I think it's kaopectate. Um, but then I don't leave the house all day after that because that just, that cleans everything out. So, um, so yeah, that was my, it, um, so that's been two ER visits since surgery in November. Uh, the first one ended up staying overnight and um, that was dehydration. And... Uh, but this one, I was out in about eight, nine hours. And, but I felt way better afterwards, so yay! <laughs> so yeah, that's the excitement of the surgery. It, um, Besides, like, you know, I'm pretty thin now. I mean, for me, I'm, I'm still like 154 pounds, which... Uh, you know, I have no desire to be a twig. I, I was a twig when I was, you know, a very young woman. I don't want to be a twig again. Um, and uh, so trying to get rid of the stomach ache, um, and hopefully they can give me something that my insurance will cover. That would be great. Um, the other one was uh, $90, and it was only like a week's worth so even if I had ninety dollars, uh, I don't have ninety dollars a week. Like, I don't think so. Um, so yeah, I was kind of bummed because I, you know, I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna feel better. I hope, yay!" <laughs> okay, so I, I mean, and through and all, I, I've had, you know, my crazy sense of humor still. Um, I mean, I go in the. ER and I'm cracking jokes. Uh, this is how I deal with everything. Um, I just constantly crack jokes. Um, so yeah. Um, it, now if you've had the surgery, I would love to hear from you when and if you ever got your energy back. I'm kind of, uh, kind of over feeling so bleh and weak and tired. Uh, that's, that's worse than the stomach stomach aches. But I am eating quite a variety of foods. I do eat a small amount of bread. Um, the other day I had some uh, toast yesterday, which actually tasted really good. But unfortunately, got, I, got, I got it too thick. So, um, you know, I ordered my groceries online and they substituted a different bread, which I didn't really think about it. And the bread was pretty thick. So, um, I didn't eat too much. So I usually try to, um, if I have bread, I try to keep it kind of, you know, the, actually the thinner, cheaper stuff is actually um, better. Um, I have been eating pasta. Now, one thing um, that I actually do digest really, really well is actually pasta and Lasagna is something I'm like freaking crazy about right now. 
the cheese and the sauce and it's just it just really hits the spot um and mostly um i want soup like 90 percent of the time soup uh, i've never been a huge person with soup um it, i just never found it fulfilling enough um it, you know it because i like to bite into stuff and also i was always too warm anyway but now the combination of nice hot soup and you know i it always settles well it i always do really really good with soup i mean like soup rocks like i can't get enough soup in fact i'm gonna be making um chicken soup this week because i just want soup um me and Panera are like best best buddies right now. I I just I just want Panera French onion soup all the time. Yeah, I yeah I've tried making it at home. Yeah, it's just that just it's not good. Uh, I haven't found any canned French onion soup that's even remotely good. Um, and uh, yeah, Hannaford makes uh, my grocery store. They make a frozen one that you just pop out of this little plastic thing and you can microwave it or bake it in the oven and it's pretty good. Um, they are the only one that I found at home. Uh, otherwise, I th think that I would probably have that every single day. Yeah. I love me some soup. <laughs> So yeah, the the things that changed after surgery, um, and uh, you know it's different. Saw my uh, youngest son recently, Connor, and you know it it is weird. Um, all of a sudden, mom doesn't look like mom anymore. And he's seen me once at Christmas time, and you know it was shocking. And this time, you know I've lost even more weight. So. He's not loving it, but it's also a really big physical change. This is, you know, and he knows I'm, like, low energy and feel, like, sickly and weak. And, of course, he worries. Um, so, you know, and I, I don't want to make my, my child worry. The, the whole purpose of doing this was so I'm here as long as possible. Um, for my boys, so to extend my life, you know, my life span. Um, yeah, so it's been kind of a, a shock to him, like, whoa. But he's getting used to it. He did treat me. He's got um, uh, two new jobs. One of them's at a Thai restaurant, and he did treat me to uh, lunch there. I am starting to go out to lunch more. I'm feeling more comfortable. I haven't thrown up in a restaurant yet. So, yay! <laughs> I was so worried about that. I thought for sure I was going to hurl at a, at a restaurant. I was thinking I'm never going to eat in a restaurant again. Um, I do I do heave in my car sometimes. Um, I When I get empty cups or something... I keep him on my car just for that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not someone you want to drive around with because it's not fun. But thank God I'm most uh, most of the time I'm in my car alone because I do my errands when Alex isn't here. So, <laughs> so you don't have to be in the passenger in the car with me. Um, yeah, so the these are the weird things that you can possibly expect from the surgery. Um not being able to drink as much water. Definite bath bathroom problems. I'm finding that very, very common. Um, the queasiness could last quite a while. It's been 15 weeks. Um, extremely dry, itchy skin. And like I said, I think the worst thing is the freezing cold. Like, whoa, it's so bad. It's so painful. Um, you know, it's winter in Maine. We just had, like, a freezing cold spell this weekend. And I'm like, I, I just, like, felt like I was dying. It was like a thousand needles attacking my body. It's a very strange feeling. 
I, I still thank God from menopause. I still get a few hot flashes. I did notice my menopause symptoms are starting to dissipate after surgery, um, which is kind of a bummer only because I thought the hot, the hot flashes that I had, which they've been so bad for about a year and a half now, like talking at least once in, once an hour, I'd have a hot flash and, uh, they have really, really dissipated quite a bit. I have two or three a day, which is kind of disappointing because right now when I get a hot flash, it's like, oh, bring it on, bring it on. I want a hot flash. Oh, nice and warm and toasty for a minute. So, uh, <laughs> I know here, I've been trying to get rid of these suckers for so long. <laughs> and now it's like, oh, come on. Give me a hot flash for God's sakes. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're not warm enough. No, they're not. Um, yeah. So, um, that, it's another thing. I, I didn't know, you know, I didn't know how long the menopause symptoms would, would last after, you know, I started official menopause, but that's been like year and a half. So they're starting to go away. So I guess when I don't have my even very few hot flashes, then I'm, I'm not going to have anything. So I'm hopefully looking forward to summer and uh, I did, it's, it is funny. I used to, before surgery, I owned like two long sleeve shirts. I really didn't like long sleeves like ever. Um, it had to be extremely cold to uh, wear long sleeves. And then I usually just did it in the form of sweater so I could, you know, take it off halfway through. I have no desire for short sleeves at the moment. <laughs> like, none. Not even a little bit. Uh, screw that. Uh, I want long sleeves and a sweater over <laughs> over over top. I know. I'm I'm like, oh, dang. I'm Yeah, I think that's why I like these little handcuffs things. It's like warmth. Warmth. I need warmth. Uh, so, yeah, uh, everything I've bought has been long sleeve. Now, I'm hoping with spring and summer coming that um, I warm up. So, fingers crossed. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, this ran much longer than I thought. Um, I didn't mean to ramble so much, but thank you for joining me. And um, when I hit that last four pounds, I am going to be partying like, woohoo! But I did... I did with a couple weeks ago, which I celebrated with my friends. I hit a normal BMI. I have a healthy BMI for the first time for many years. And that was just the biggest goal. Um, you know, besides 100. But um, that I, I was crying. It, it was big. Um, I am no longer considered obese. So that feels really amazing. I'm no, I'm no longer a fat girl. I, I have a healthy BMI. <gasps> Woo! I still got chub around the gut, though. So <laughs> Now, when I get rid of the chub around the gut, that would be really good. But right now, otherwise, I'm like, I'm quite thrilled. All right, guys. Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye.